Hey you guys, what's going on? I thought that the camera was gonna hide my little zit a little better than this, so that's unfortunate. But welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to do a video for you guys today talking a little bit about my story. I haven't really shared this with, I don't think like anybody. My story um, of how I got to where I am now with my body image and just my body in general, whole outlook on health and fitness and becoming a coach, all of that. So let's begin. <laughs> Start in high school. I was always really active, uh, always running, working out a lot. I just really enjoyed working out, but I didn't know much about nutrition. I really just wanted to be skinny. I, my idea of like the perfect body was like a cheerleader body and I was an athlete and I wanted to be skinny. Like I didn't know anything about nutrition. I would eat like Costco muffins, and, like carrots and a sandwich for lunch. I would drink like chai tea. <laughs> Once senior year rolled around, I became I became kind of like obsessed with this idea of being thin and having this like ideal body. And and it's not like I ever stopped eating, but I ate very small amounts and I was working out so much. And I, I graduated high school and I kind of stopped the running and I started to um, compete at the age of 17, I, which is so young. And I did like a cookie cutter meal plan. I didn't have any guidance. I was just doing a lot of cardio, like lifting pretty moderate weights. I didn't have anybody to help me out uh, mentally, physically, emotionally through this process. I, and I thought that competing was like gonna give me this dream body that I always that I always wanted. And it didn't do that and it almost did the opposite for a while. Fourth competition, I was taking about 22 credits in school. I was working three jobs, preparing for like back-to-back -back competitions. At the end of this, I was so, so burnt out of just like restricting myself for so long that I, I started like this binging cycle and then a guilt cycle. So I was just not good to associate guilt with food. I couldn't stop eating because I just restricted myself mentally and physically for so, so long and I didn't know how to find a balance in my life. And for one of my shows, I remember I gained more weight than I was really comfortable with. And it was the heaviest I had ever been. It was really hard for me because I was so used to being thin in high school and so skinny in high school. And I just couldn't stick to a plan unless it was like one extreme or the other. So I was restricting everything or like overindulging in anything and everything. I couldn't stop mentally. It was so weird. Half-assing the fitness thing. Like I wasn't prioritizing my health at all. It was just kind of an awful time in my life. How did I switch my thinking from being obsessed and consumed with food and the way I looked and my body image to living like this healthy, sustainable, balanced lifestyle? First thing is education and knowledge. I started to learn how to take care of myself from the inside out. Um, I set mental, physical, and emotional goals. I discovered the, my purpose for living a healthy lifestyle. Um, I really worked to find balance rather than an all-in or all-out mentality that I was living with. I would read like studies and podcasts and books and articles and bodybuilding.com articles and forums, people's Instagram captions and watch YouTube videos and I took college courses on health and nutrition and fitness and I really started to educate myself. I really wanted to help others not have to go through what I went through. Um, it took like a couple years to really understand as much as I do now, but it was so beneficial to do this. I have to say the number one thing that helped me change my mindset from this like negative self image to this positive body image and love for myself and this balance that I found, um, it was having Landon Horst uh, coach me through my nationals bikini prep. And he helped me in knowing that I had someone to go to if I was struggling and I had a support system um, that I had never had before. And I had someone to go to just to be like, you know what, I'm having a shitty day. Like, what can I do? And he would, he would always just give me like a sense of relief. So having a coach, I wish I would have at the beginning because I know I probably would have gone through any of these like problems that I went through mentally. Um, so I truly have to say that Landon was like the biggest um, influencer in my journey where he was having a, a person to go to that was like, hey, I'm here for you if you need to vent, if you just need anything. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, it was like the most important thing ever. Um, if someone cares about you is so necessary to your mental and physical and emotional health. And I really think that all three of those are crucial to living a healthy lifestyle because I didn't have a few of those 
um, by myself when I was going through my journey. And if I would have had a coach in the beginning, I don't think any of that would have happened. It's important that your healthy lifestyle is a balance. Like balance is so key and it has to be sustainable and enjoyable or else you're not, it's not gonna like continue. I wasn't enjoying being healthy because all I was obsessed with was how I looked. And now all I'm obsessed with is feeding my body good food and working out because it makes me feel good and I feel like when I feel good, I can help others. And that is like what I'm so excited about. Finding like this balance that I wanna promote to people, it has helped me like realize that I don't look like a fitness model all the time and I am not skinny like a cheerleader like I want it to be, but my body is so perfect for me. Whether I'm 20 pounds heavier than I am now or 20 pounds less getting on stage, like I'm gonna love my body either way. I don't criticize my imperfections like I used to. Obviously I still look in the mirror and I'm like, ah, I'm gonna change that. Like I wanna, I wanna tweak myself because I always wanna be improving. It's always important to have goals. I have a healthy relationship with my body and I no longer hate my body. Like I love my body for what it does for me. If this, if this inspired you in any way, please share this video um, with someone who may need it. Share it with yourself again if you wanna rewatch it. I would love that. Feel free to leave a comment down below or message me if you've ever struggled with these same things that I've struggled with. I know that there's some people out there that are probably experiencing the same feelings that I have felt. Uh, I wanna help you guys to take action, to stop fighting with your body and start loving it and living a healthy, balanced lifestyle from the inside out so that you can achieve your goals because it is such a freeing feeling. I'm not kidding, it's so freeing. So please share, please like, please leave a comment, I would love it. Sorry if my zit distracted you the whole time. <laughs> I love you all, have a good day.